thanks for coming to our disease crop walk this year. It's usually been quite a popular event, and on, I think unfortunately we might be a little bit late this year with the amount of heat that we've had, and guys are getting rolling on the combine already. We took off our winter peas yesterday, and we're going to start up on our winter wheat. As I'm looking at the, the, the famous ACES website, we're actually just slightly above normal uh, for heat this year, about 100 heat units on the corn heat unit side ahead of schedule. And we've been above average on precipitation since that big dump around June 11th. So we got about eight inches of rain that week and only 10 millimeters since. So we've got, a, it's been a, kind of an interesting year there. We've had lots of early good moisture, but we haven't had much since then. And I think we can see that in the dryland crops now are starting to, to burn out and not quite hitting the potential that they could have, but irrigated crops are, are looking fantastic. So. We've got a, I have to thank Mike Harding. Mike Harding wasn't available to make it here, but he was the man who basically put the schedule together and we had a nice tour out in, Bo in Brooks uh, last week and the Canola Gala was, was very interesting. It was actually my first time to make it out there. So if, uh, if you guys haven't made it out there in the past, uh, plan for it for next year because the, the Club Root demo side of it was, was very interesting. And it's, and it's not that far away. So Murray's actually going to start off the talk this morning about club root. And we, we tend to be a little bit uh, lackadaisical about that issue here in southern Alberta. And uh, hopefully Murray scares the heck out of you so that we take a little bit better management practices on there. So on that note, um, we're going to do, again, the, the, the club root protocol. We've got a bit of a washing station over there. So if you wouldn't mind, brush your feet off, dip it in in that solution. There's a slight leach in there to help kill the any potential spores. If you don't want to do that, we do have booties uh, on the trailer. And if you, you need some, let me know. There's bug spray available. We've taken the coffee and donuts out to our, our field site over there, and there is a porta potty over there. Otherwise, it is kind of a, a long haul back on there. But uh, any questions so far? How's everyone doing this morning? Good. Right on. Uh, want to mention also that DuPont's sponsoring uh, lunch. Uh, after the tour. My hope is actually to squeeze my night spray and fungicide talk before lunch even though we have it on the schedule at one o'clock. We're just going to take a few minutes on that. We have uh, kind of a busy schedule here as well so if, if that's okay with you guys we're hoping to be done by lunch.